Zoe Ball broke down in tears live on BBC Radio 2 after she paid tribute to Olivia Newton-John following her death. Zoe Ball was left emotional on Tuesday morning as she came to terms with the death of legendary singer and actress, Olivia Newton-John. The iconic star died on Monday following a battle with breast cancer which spanned on and off for 30 years. On her BBC Radio 2 breakfast show, Zoe played magic from the 1980 film Xanadu. After the track had finished, Zoe's voice started to break as she struggled to get her words out. The presenter blubbed, I'm so sorry, but that has really made me cry. She went on, you know, you never hear anyone say anything about Olivia other than she was just gorgeous, a lovely lady, with a beautiful smile and so much fun. Zoe tried to fight through her tears to read some heart-rending tributes from her viewers. Lynn wrote in saying, I'm heartbroken. She was such a big part of my youth. Christian added, she was my teenage sweetheart, so sad. And Mark echoed, thanks for reminding me of this song Zoe. The words in this song somehow are more meaningful and special this morning, to which Zoe agreed, I know Mark, I think that is why it's making me cry. Later in the show, Zoe confirmed that she had another, big cry, and her co-stars Patrick and Richie had to give her a hug. Zoe also read out a lovely tribute from Mariah Carey which the iconic singer shared alongside several photos of her performing with Olivia. Mariah said, I first fell in love with Olivia's voice when I was a little girl and heard I honestly love you. Songs like Magic, Suddenly and Have You Never Been Mellow showcased her beautiful airy tone and signature sound. And then there was Grease. I was obsessed. I dressed up as Bad Sandy for Halloween in fifth grade and thought I was everything. Years later. The one and only Olivia Newton-John actually walked out onto my stage in Melbourne, Australia and we sang our hearts out together to Hopelessly Devoted to You. This is a moment I will never ever forget. I was also blessed to be in her presence on many other occasions and she was one of the kindest, most generous and lovely people I've ever met. She will be missed. She will be remembered. She will be loved. Olivia, I honestly love you. Olivia's death was announced on Monday. She was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992 and then for a second time in 2013 and a third in 2017.